Shines, and we are doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kids, and our two cats. And this is our March 2023 Great Loop update from Marathon, Florida. So yeah, so we made it to Marathon. We're in the Keys. We're in the fun part. <laughs> we're in the bathing suit, pool, hot tub part of the loop. As I say, the part that people expect you to look like. That People don't expect true. to be freezing cold on a river in dodging a logs in a lock. Well, yes, that is that is true. That's, but that's the loop, the, but that's not what people picture when you say you're living on a boat. That's true. Well, and that's why we joke that we call it the booze. The booze loop. loop. We're so. starting a whole new subset of the loop called the booze loop. The booze loop. And jokingly. let me jokingly let me clarify. Inherently, the loop is not bougie. There's like when most people think bougie boating you're on a yacht in the mediterranean like with staff yeah the, the loop is not that and that's why we love it it's an adventure and you're seeing all sorts of things in america but if there was a way to make the loop more bougie we're doing we're trying. it <laughs> now everything is relative so bougie loop you know we use our bathrooms on our boat some people use the marina bathrooms only or only use the marina bathrooms for certain things yeah we're gonna as charter members of the bouge loop association we're gonna have stipulations of what constitutes uh, as a bouge loop yeah so, well and we stay anyway in, we, we've, we've we, digressed we stay in marinas more than anchor we go out to eat more than most because i can only do so much so it started off as a joke but now we're really finding but great humor in it the big takeaway is the loop is whatever you want the loop to be yes it can and you can do it on all budgets and that's really the beauty of it we you know we're some of the younger people on the loop our kids are i think the youngest loopers right now rex is for sure right is anybody younger than you buddy there's very few kids on the loop um so you can be anywhere from eight to in your 80s and you can have any sort of size budget and that's that's the beauty of it and you meet people all along the way doing it their own way yep. so that is what we love about it but when we last left off this is where we were, we were yes. going we were in Boca Grande. Which is a bouge loop stop. That is definitely where you want to stop if you're doing the bouge loop. And now we've made our way from Boca to Cabbage Key, which was fun. And yep. then from Cabbage Key to Naples, Naples to Evergrade City. It was an adventure because we ran aground going in. Yeah, so that gets a little bit narrow if you're going to go through there. Be careful if you're going to go in a bigger boat like ours. Be it's very shallow. careful. It goes straight and then a dog legs left and it gets super shallow. So Seashine went through some sand. We she powered right on through and didn't have a problem. We got to the dock. We had a great time in Everglades City. We left the next day and we did an amazing anchorage. And then when we did the nine hour run from Everglades City to, to Key, West. Key West, right at the last 45 well, minutes. I'm gonna just set the stage for you. So we're cruising across um, the Gulf of Mexico. It's a beautiful day. We're dodging crab pots. We're seeing dolphins and turtles. It's awesome. It's smooth, like a like a bumpy lake, but yeah. like a lake. And then you round the corner around Key West, Gulf. and you're out of the Gulf, and you're in the Straits of Florida, which is kind of part of the Atlantic. She got a little choppy. And it was like we rounded Cape Horn. I mean, we had waves, and it was definitely we weren't in Kansas anymore. The theory on that was a theory. We were smooth for eight hours, and then the last hour it was up and down. And then it, what happened? There was some, we got beep, 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 and I start looking Let's down. Stop engine now! Yeah, overheating, but we were on it. I ran down to the engine room, you stayed up at the helm. Uh, we decided to cut off the engine. I mean, it had been all of three minutes, maybe. Mm -hmm. And we cut down the engine. The temps didn't get awesome. terribly hot, but it definitely gave us a warning. And we think what happened, we sucked up sand, it got wedged. A teaspoon of sand, it not a lot of sand. sucked it up in the impeller. The impeller stopped turning. The impeller was still in perfect shape, but it, the, it spun on the hub. It stopped sucking in water. The engine said, hey, I don't have any water, I'm getting hot. So we shut it down. We ran for that 45 minutes. With and one engine. Good night. Okay, so we have one engine. Yeah, with one engine. Uh, so we did great. Docking was a little bit tricky. The wind was blowing hard and a bunch of things were going on. Okay. Please favor docking yet. So we're in. We have to take a hard left turn at the channel. We have one engine. There are military aircraft, naval planes flying and buzzing all over us and basically landing on top of us. We can't hear anything to communicate. 
We have one engine and we called the marina and they said to dock right here. Well, we're coming in and the wind just catches us. Thank goodness there was not a boat over here. We were sideways, it was bad. Anyway, um, docking and showed up at the perfect moment. I reset all the lines, hopefully fast enough that we didn't scrape anything and all the fenders and we're here. We docked successfully and found the part found a diver to go under and check things, and then replaced the part on both of them, both impellers, because do one, do the other. We were up and running in two oh, days, and yeah. then we went and uh, tested it. Well, looks like peaches and cream. Live to tell another tale. Because you can run all day long at the dock, but you gotta go out and put it under load. So we went out, ran, and we got good temps. This is the engine, starboard side engine, cream. That was running up the temp. It's at 159 degrees. And look at peaches, 159 degrees. All good. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was an adventure. Made our trip to Everglades City a little more expensive, but it was still worth it. We got to Stock Island and we slowed our roll even more. So we stayed in Stock Island. Um, which is basically part of Key West. It's an island just off of Key West. And I have thoughts. What are your thoughts on, I, on Key West, honey? Well, thoughts in general. If you're doing the loop and you're planning to do the loop anytime, it is March. You need to be making your reservations for January, February, or March of next year right now. If you haven't already made your reservation, like literally get on the phone tomorrow. And um, the, the really the key to Keys Marinas you can see what I did there? Key to the keys. The key to the keys. This is my loop scoop. Is when you book for a month, you get a significantly lower rate. So the keys are known to be expensive marinas, and marinas charge by the foot. So we've we've seen anywhere from three dollars to eight dollars a foot per night for the marina. If you do a monthly rate, it cuts that sometimes by a third. So you want to stay for a month if you want to just chill. Find your favorite marina. I have thoughts on that too. Book for a month and book a year in advance. That's yeah. my loop scoop and my key to the key right there. And once we're done with the keys, um, we'll do. A, we should do a review of all the marinas we've stated and what we like the best. Yeah, they definitely have different flavors. They do. And different wants needs. Yeah. Perfect. Like we're staying in an amazing marina now. I love it and I think everybody should stay here, but it doesn't have a laundry facility and the showers are attached to the gym slash spa that's only open till six. So if you are using the bathroom in the marinas or doing your laundry at the marinas, then this probably wouldn't be the best fit for you. Mm -hmm. But I like this a lot better. Yep. And so the keys, so in Stock Island Yacht Club where we were, I uh, actually loved it because it was more natural. It was great. There were huge tarpon to look at. There were manatees. We could hop in our kayaks and go across. They have a beach. It's the only marina with a beach. Yeah. And so we took advantage of that. Rex found a monster conch, two monster yes. conchs. They had a pool, a workout room. So uh, it worked great for us. Interesting to note, the rivers have a rhythm to them. So when you're going down the rivers, all the loopers are kind of going, you stop at the same marina because it's all these little legs and you kind of get in a group of people and you stay with that group of people and there's only one place to stay. Once everybody hits Florida, then there's so many options of places to stay. So people kind of get scattered all about and some people stay for a long time, some people stay for a short time. So I feel like sadly we've lost our core group. Yeah. Um, so we're a little more on our own. Um, for right now. And it's the locks that make those rhythms because you're just oh, yeah, timing you're it with locked the locks. In. You're locked into the timing of the locks. Yeah. See, I did it again. Anyway, uh, that's interesting to note and in that you we had a lot of camaraderie on the rivers yep. that we're not getting as much here. For, yeah. <laughs> Including a guy, if he's still out there, what was his name? Paul Ryan on zero altitude. altitude. Oh, in a sailboat, yes. He was in a 22 foot Catalina sailboat with a 1978 original 16 horsepower outboard going awesome. up the river. I, we need to see if we can figure out where he is and how he's doing. Yep. Anyway, so that's where we are now. We have slowed our roll. We're going to, our plans going forward, we haven't finished the loop. We're not going to finish the loop till we get to Stewart. We have 280 miles. Oh, we're so close. But we're going to go from here to Isle Morada and then to Key Largo and then we're crossing to the Bahamas for a little while until we'll be up over there for at least eight weeks until we then come back 
to, um, we'll probably come in at Palm Beach Inlet and then work our way back up to Stewart. And yep. then we'll finish our loop and we'll sell Sea Shine. Sea Shine has been a oh great Oh my gosh, boat. the best boat. We're biased, but it's the best boat. She is homey, roomy. She handles things well. Mm hmm. I know, don't listen, Sea Shine. Anyway, so that's our we're plan. We're going to do a boat tour soon because she's looking. I think yeah, we're about done with all the little projects. Been, We've been working on her this whole time. I've even been touching up the engine room paint. Oh my I mean, gosh, yeah, he's repainting things in the engine room. Yep. Anyway, um, that's where we are. If you have recommendations for a Key Largo, Isle Morata, anywhere in the Bahamas, please send them our way. We would love feedback on that. Um, and as always, we're so grateful for you following us on this journey. Uh, and we will get to editing real fun recaps of each leg of the loop once we are not actually enjoying and living through the loop. So that's the plan. We love seeing people along the way. I did a really bad job of keeping up with people who messaged as we went, but okay. we've done an okay, we've done a better job here in Florida. So anything else we want to add? Oh. Uh, we're heading to the Ocean Alexander Rendezvous in Key Largo, so we're excited about that. Yeah. Get on the Ocean Alexander uh, Revolution boat. The yeah, the fancy new Mad yachts. Daddy. We're thinking of an even trade for uh, uh, the revolution for sea shine i don't know we'll have to negotiate but not sure they'll <laughs> consider that but there you have it anyway if you wouldn't mind picking up two pieces of trash a day that would be awesome if you live in the south we need to pick up four because it's a mess down here um but yeah that would be great if you could help with that yep anything else no nope. if you want to follow us more real time follow us on the instagrams at the boomer shines that's on a, the instagrams on the <laughs> that's that's a way to follow us on the instagram, instagram. <laughs> okay i'm better about posting Real time there. Yeah. Not great, but I'm better. <laughs> yeah. That's all for now. Let me show. Here we go. Here's our view. Here's what it's like in the oh, keys. Yeah. It's a little overcast. We're about today. to get a sunset. There. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Seriously? Did I? Hold on. <laughs>